Hello friends, welcome back in OCP Technology. My name is Shripal and today I am going to demonstrate you about the single row functions part 2. You just open my website www.ocptechnology.com and just go into home home tab. See here the Oracle SQL tutorial. So just click on this SQL tutorial. So it will be open complete Oracle tutorial in front of you. Just move down. So here just using the single row functions to customize output part 2 so just click on this one so single row functions part 2 is open in front of you now uh, what your character functions character functions accept only character type of values and return the return in character and number bar type so you can say that uh, uh, character functions return bot type of values whether it is numeric or whether it is character okay so first is a concat function in the, in that concat functions is join two or more values together and using minimum two parameters with concat functions you should have to use minimum two parameter with the concat functions so let's see do the practical so your first parameter is a concat function so, so how to use that and so just simply write here command we just perform the same like that select concat in the single quote start your parenthesis with the concat functions and start your single quote write your first expression and close the single quote then comma then start single quote and then write your second expression is there from the rule terminate by the semicolon then hit enter so it will be written the complete name complete string in front of you that is the OCP technology so basically this is the concat functions which is combined to string and written in the one value one output okay so this is the concat function and the next one is a substring substring retrieve a string of the specified length so see the example select sub str and right here i just write here OCP technology one comma three from dual then terminate by the semicolon then hit enter so you can see it will just return only three values is there because one is a starting point and three is a ending point that means how much values you want to pick from this string which is this one if you write here the one comma four so it's just written ocpt okay and if you return here if you write here the 5 so just return the ocpte this is the substring function okay see the next one next one is a length <coughs> length function always calculate the length of a string and return in the numeric value select length the length start the parenthesis and start single quote and write here the string ocp technology close the parent single quote and close the parenthesis after that from dual then semicolon then hit enter so it just written the length of the string which i given in the between the parentheses okay so this is the length of ocp technology okay so this is 13 next function is in string in a string what is the in string so the position of the name character in the number okay so basically just to use this so use this function just select instr then write here the any string suppose ocp technology and i just want to know the location of the t try the single code write here the t and then from blue then hit enter so it just return the four that means that's it that is the location exactly point that value on which position that is exist that is a in the fourth position in the string okay so this is the work of in string function okay next function is l pad show the character value just to write justified now i'm going to use the l pad function select l pad and i have a column salary column and i was just want to print the salary column in 10 digit okay so i'm giving here the 10 this is the length of the salary which is in the 10 digit salary okay and uh, if any employee not have don't have the 10 digit salary 
so in the remaining space we i just want to print star okay so i'm giving here from emp press the semicolon then hit enter so it will show all the salaries from the emp table and in the remaining space it just print the star but okay it's our three digit salary and we uh, we want the 10 digit salary so in the remaining seven digits it just print the star same here okay so this is the l pad in the l pad it just just justify the salary in the right side and then star is the left side okay for the salary and same is the in the right in the r pad r for right so uh, r pad just uh, justify the stars in the right side of the salary okay see select r pad salary number 10 star from emp so see the difference between l pad and r pad see in the r pad the salary is the left side and the star is the right side so this is basically main difference okay not not much more difference but this is uh, only one this one difference so this is the l pad and r pad see the next one next function next function is a replace function replace function is just replace the value same like ms word we always use the ms word and notepad and okay word pad so it's just the same like that control f we do the control f in the ms word word pad and also in the notepad so it's the same like that okay so just let's see how to use that select replace suppose i'm right here black and blue so i just want to replace the bl with the j from dual so it will be written the jack and jew because it just re replaced the bl by the j so it just written the jack and jew so this is very simple basically i thought you got that okay in the last one is a trim trim it just trim a character or heading or both from a character string so let's see how to do that so just right here the select trim and in the trim just specify that character which is which you want to trim from the string so just suppose i'm right here the o from ocp technology from dual so you just return the cp technology because it just trim the o c so basically these all are the character functions which i also describe on my website if you got the knowledge from my this video so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video and share this video thanks for watching bye bye